while the swabs that are currently available pick up DNA quite well. When it comes time to, to get the DNA off of the swabs, it doesn't let go. And so you throw the swab away with the entire sample and hardly any of it has been delivered to your tube. So we chose the wavelength of light with a higher intensity to hit the sample in order to degrade the polymer. But if you go in ambient sunlight, which doesn't have a lot of that particular wavelength of intensity, which is in the UV range, it will take years for the swap to actually collapse. We have a diesel swab of polymer. We have a tiny amount of DNA. So we have to make sure that the material is DNA friendly and is being able to remove or is not interfering with the analysis. We've started talking to law enforcement to find out what their typical method of using swabs is. At this point now, we're starting to think about how we would commercialize this. We're talking with the business about what the next steps are for transitioning the technology into a production facility. 